so it's been a while since I've done a shopping haul. Um, I know I've had a few sit down videos in a row, um, do apologise for that, I will start vlogging again soon when something interesting happens. So there's been another next sale basically and yet again I have been unable to resist. You get that little VIP invitation through your email if you're an avid next shopper. I don't know if you've spent a certain amount of money or if you've bought from them within that season they'll send you a VIP slot for their online sale which is starts like a day earlier than a day earlier a couple of days earlier actually than the actual sale starts in the shop so they give you that VIP slot and you can even browse it before you get the slot to start adding things to your basket well the plan is I think this is the tip anyway, is to write down all of the items that you want when the sale actually goes live, paste those little codes into the thing and it will like see whether they're available. But a lot of the time people have been, if it's something that everybody wants, they're like gone <laughs> straight away or the size that you want's gone or the item's gone completely. So that happened to me on a few things that I wanted to buy, but I did manage to bag myself a few little bargains. Um, I feel like I don't love everything I got, but We'll look through it, I'll try them on and see whether I want to keep everything. I've been collecting things that have been coming to the shop, um, been getting delivered and they all come in different parcels, you don't just get all of the items that you ordered. A lot of them, I don't know whether anyone else did, but I, all of my items were like, this item's delayed, this item's delayed, this will come on this date, this will, so I was just like constantly, luckily I work near the next door anyway, so I just kept popping in to get things. Um, so I think there's like two more things that are yet to come, but I thought I'd just film this now, because the majority of things I do have. And I did also go into the shop and um, buy a couple of things from there at seven o'clock in the morning as well. The first morning, because usually a Saturday morning, they open at seven o'clock. So there's like usually a queue of people, obsessed people like me who just want to dive in there. It's one of those things with Next. Obviously they've got the homeware section, they've got the men's section, they've got the women's section, and they've got children's section as well, kids wear. So a lot of mums I think just dive in there to get loads of bargains for their kids. So it's funny how like people just dive off into the different sections of the store. I actually went straight for the home section this time because it's just one of those things, those items go quite quickly, people, it's got a good discount on that home stuff, so it is worth popping to the home section first. Um, just actually remembered, I do have a couple of things that I did buy from there. Anyway, let's get stuck in. So I will show you what these things look like on, um, but the first item that I have, did I pick these up in the store? No, I think these did come in the sale, and I have already worn one pair, a pack of socks. Everybody needs socks in their life. I'm not going to try these on and show you because that would just be a bit strange. Um, these are usually £10. What I'm going to do is put all the prices at the bottom. I need to dig out the receipt actually. If I find it I'll go and find it but I think they were £5. I think they were half price. Just good quality socks really. I don't want to spend £10 on five pairs but £5 on five pairs, pound each, not too bad. White and black ones, just as simple socks as you can get really. Well it's not, you can obviously, obviously get plain ones but they're just a little bit fancy than plain ones. You know, plain ones are boring. These are just a bit more interesting without being too crazy. Just kind of work days, really, just to go into black trousers, which means that, you know, if they do get a seam, they're not too crazy. I used to love funky socks. I used to get bright coloured socks, funky and crazy. Now I just want basic ones. Anyway, socks. Ah, I've just been and found all of the prices of everything just to make it easier. So the socks were £5, so I was correct with that one. This was £7. This is a scarf. And I know we're going a little bit more into like warmer spring weather now, but sometimes it still can be chilly over here in Little North Wales in the UK. Um, in case there's any American people out there. <laughs> What's this voice? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> um, this is a lovely green scarf. I don't know whether the green is coming out on this, but it's a lovely beautiful kind of deep green colour which I just kind of think suits my skin skin tone. I just really like these warm colours. It used to be £14 and now it's seven. I bought it for £7. So yeah, I have lots of different scarves, but you can't have too many scarves, right? There we go. Another item. I do have this top already, which I bought from the last next sale actually, in a black, no, no it's not, it's a navy colour with like white flowers on, so this is more of a pink, nudie pink colour with black detailing on, so it's got pretty little the leaves, yeah leaves, flowers, stars, a moon, birds, no, 
oh, just flowers and stuff. Um, it's just really, really pretty. And I just really like the material mostly about this. I just like how stretchy it is. It's really stretchy and soft, just quite comfortable um, work kind of top that I wear. And the back of it's really pretty. So it's got lace detailing at the back, a little cut out bit and lace detail and I just think that looks really beautiful. £22 full price and £6 in the sale. So I think that's a bargain for £6. Cannot go wrong. I think I got it in a size 12 last time but this one was a size 10 because they didn't have 12 available but it, it fits pretty well I think. Yeah I'm liking this one. It is comfortable as I say and really really stretchy material. Um, it's got this pretty little lace detail at the back so it makes you feel like you're wearing a kind of like fancy-ish top but it's really super comfy. Yeah, I like this one a lot and I think the light pink um, shade kind of suits me. I like it. This was another £7 item. I'm not sure about this one, to be honest. I might take this one back. I'll show you what it looks like on in a minute. This is size 12 and it's just a simple jumper kind of top, but it's quite thin. So it's more of, like, you wouldn't wear it on top of anything because it's quite small and thin. Um, it's just like a whitey cream colour with little navy slash black <laughs> dots all over it um is what it is i'll put it on and yeah let me know what you think because i can't really decide whether to keep that or not i guess i just can't decide what to wear it with i don't know a pair of black trousers i think but we'll see i'm just not 100 percent. so this isn't a bad top now i'm wearing it um i don't know whether it's slightly see-through um yeah it's nothing special nothing special at all but i kind of like it Possibly might just keep it. Um, yeah, it's cheap enough to just keep, really, isn't it? It's just, it's just a top. It's comfortable. Don't know. I don't really have any feelings about this top. It doesn't spark joy. I can't resist a striped top. This top was nine pound instead of eighteen pounds. So pretty much all been like half price kind of prices at the moment. It's a polo neck, and it's a stripy polo neck. I love stripy tops i have loads of stripy tops um but then sometimes i feel like i don't have enough stripy tops so i bought this it's just the fact the quality is quite nice i did have an old stripy top very very similar but it was thin and it was from dorothy perkins i think and it, i bought it about five years ago now so it's a bit tight and a bit just doesn't fit me very nicely anymore i think it's been washing times it just doesn't really have that nice feeling anymore and so i threw that away so this is kind of to replace that one and it's much thicker so it's a nice warm quality to it and i think that would look really nice with um either just with a pair of jeans black pair of jeans or black pair of work trousers and also i'm very into wearing these kind of um i don't really know what you call them like dresses over these like short sleeve i've actually bought one i'll show you it in a minute um so possibly wear things like that with this as well can't decide whether this one's got a little bit of itchiness to it because it's got that kind of woolly material um but i do like it i like how high the neck is i like that you don't really have to fold it down because i've got some where you have to fold on the neck and then over time it, it kind of gets like i don't know stretched out but i kind of like that this one you can just wear up like that yeah it's a nice top to be fair i probably will keep it I don't know, I've just got really itchy. It's a turtleneck striped top. There we have it. Another stripey top for £6 this time. More of a casual style. Again, this is another one I'm not too sure about. Um, I don't know though. I, I think I think I'll keep it. I don't know why it says priority stock on it. It used to be £20. So a good little saving there. That's more than half price. And it's just a really comfortable... Um, striped top but the actual stripes are gold and they're more like sparkly gold so it's a little bit of a fancier top but it does have a little bit at the bottom that you tie so it's kind of got that casual kind of feel about it um, but you can still pull it off for work to be honest i might keep it actually i'm quite liking it we'll see what it looks like on so this is the striped comfy top um with the little tie here it's it's okay um I don't know I'm not really it's a striped top which I love striped tops so I should love it but I don't know have I got too many striped tops now is this stripiness making you dizzy yeah it doesn't really work for videos does it when you're wearing stripiness oh it's a little bit itchy I think it's because it's got this like gold thread detail it's making my arms itch 
Well, I might have to take that one back just because of the itchiness, to be honest. This item here, 11 pound. So this is the thing that I was talking about that I don't know what to call them. Um, doesn't really have a name. These things, so it's like a dress, but they usually don't have any sleeves. And so you kind of put a little long sleeve top on underneath. Um, and it looks quite nice because you can see the long sleeve top coming up to here and you can see the sleeves. I think it looks quite nice. Um, I'll try this on and see what I think and let you know. But I love the pattern in it. I love the check pattern. Really nice colours in it. It's black check, but then it's got a like a red seam running across it and then a brown seam running down it. So it's those kind of autumnal colours that I really, really like. Um, so we'll see what that fits like. The quality feels really, really nice. I mean, it says tailoring on the label, which means it's that kind of um, quality workwear stuff that they do. So it's like a proper suit kind of wear. Um, so we'll see what that looks like. I'm really unsure about this one. No, I'm not. I've definitely decided no. Um, now, when I saw what the model on the site, she wasn't wearing it with a top underneath. So I don't know whether there's a chance that maybe this is supposed to just be a dress without a top underneath rather than one of these over the top things. I like the fact it's got some pockets, um, but I feel it does nothing for my figure. Um, I just feel like it's just a little bit tight and not okay. Um, yeah, it's a shame because I really, really like the colour. I like it. It just doesn't do anything for me. What is this? Not feeling it. So this one's quite a bit of a fun purchase really. Um, I always go to the um, pyjama and loungewear section on, on the sale quite quickly. I kind of like, first thing I'll go to it will be the homeware on the online sale, like I do in the shop. I'll go straight to the homeware section because I know that that gets dived on straight away by everybody loving house stuff for cheap. Um, and then pretty much went to the pyjama section quite quickly because I do spend most of my life chilling out at home. <laughs> well, I wish I did. I have to go to work, obviously, but I spend like, yeah, I love chilling out. So when I get home, I'm like straight in my pyjamas. <laughs> Day off pyjamas. <laughs> as long as I'm comfortable at home, I am happy. But I also like to, you know, sometimes we have our scruff things. You know, everybody does, right? Not just me. You have your like scruffy loungewear that you just like don't really want anyone to see you in, apart from your partner poor partners sorry Jim um, and then you have like stuff that you you just if you feel a bit I don't know you want to feel a little bit nicer and you want to have a shower <laughs> and get up and feel good I do shower every day by the way this is going wrong I think what I'm trying to say is I like to lounge around in the house in my comfies but I also like to try and look nice um, sometimes the gym doesn't have to put up with me in my squiffy squiffs all the time so these were in the sale um, I'll look up how much in a minute, but these, these have camels on them. That's, that's what I'm trying to get at. I did wear these last night, by the way. Not, this is the thing. I didn't actually sleep in these because I find that sleep, I, I like to just sleep in a t-shirt. I find that sleeping in pants and especially long sleeve tops, just, I'd feel too like restricted. Um, so when I say like pajamas, I just mean walking around the house in them and sitting around the house. I don't actually sleep in them. They're a size medium. They had my size, which was a start, because that's always the problem when you're looking for sale stuff. And I'd liked the deep red colour, and they look really warm and cosy, and they had camels on, so it took me a while to decide whether to get them. I was like, but do I like camels? Is it a bit weird to get some pyjamas with camels on them? So I like strutted around in them last night for the gym. I was like, so this is what I'm wearing. <laughs> bought these. It's just like, camels? <laughs> That's what they are. <laughs> I don't know. I think they're beautiful though. They're so soft and lovely and comfortable and it's kind of cute that it's got camels on it, right? Everybody loves camels. Um, yeah, so there's some pyjamas. So they were £12.50 and I, you know, £12.50 for next pyjamas. Good quality next pyjamas. You can't really go wrong, can you? They've got pockets in them, which is amazing and they just feel so, so comfortable and so, so cosy and so, so soft and so, so warm. So I really, really like them. I'm sorry that the camera's really, really, really exposed. There you go, that's better. Yeah, they're just so comfortable and warm. Definitely a massive fan, and I might keep these on for the rest of the day. This is one of the items I picked up when I was in the actual next sale in the shop, um, when I went at seven o'clock in the morning. This was 19 pounds, so it was a little bit expensive, really, for the sale, but it's a really thick, to be fair, it's, it was like 30 pound or something, 
originally so it's still a good saving um, it's really thick actually it's a nice thick black jacket um, yeah it's hard to really show you right here but I'll have to show you with me wearing it I have worn it a couple of times <laughs> already um, I think it'll just be nice for those kind of spring days when you don't when you need a jacket because the wind's a bit cold but you don't want to have a massive coat with you yeah just see what you think of it on so hopefully this shot shows the jacket um i feel like i'm just tipped down slightly so you can see um the length of it um so it's a nice kind of length and it's got pockets you can't go wrong with a jacket that's got pockets yeah i just think it's really nice to just throw on to give you that little bit of warmth in spring and i like to roll the sleeves up just so they are grey I like it. So this is one of the items that were delivered to the shop because I bought online. Um, this originally was £62 and I bought it for £9. So I bought it in a size 14 and a size 12 because I wasn't sure which one would fit me. Um, I think, I haven't actually tried on the size 12 but I think the size 14 fits me better but I'm actually not sure whether to get it, whether, whether to keep it or not. Um, I really like the colour, I like the rusty colour. So it's a jacket and it is quite a suit like jacket and that's why it was like 62 pound i think um and it's double breasted so it has buttons that go across like that and um, really good quality nice i just i just don't know i think i was hoping it was going to be a bit more casual of jacket a bit like the black one so we'll try it on and see what you think i'm just going to put this jacket on with this dress that i'm already wearing um see what we think I am thinking no to be honest yeah this is it's just weird look look at me putting it on it just doesn't even make any sense because it's so suit like and structured it's not as comfortable and relaxed as that other jacket I think it's a no to be honest and I know it was so cheap as it was 62 pound but it just I don't know it just doesn't really work for me it's not yeah I was looking to get something a little bit more relaxed feel in this um, and this is far too suit like for me I think so I think it's a no so one of the things I got when I went into the store from the homeware section was this little perfume here which was four pound instead of ten pound um, you can't go wrong with next perfumes really I think they all smell pretty nice um, as you might have seen in my favourites video my favourite perfumes are actually from Anne Summers and they're gorgeous so and they're usually, they're usually about £12 or something, um, so they're not too expensive or anything, but sometimes I like to save them for my days off and like nicer days or evenings out or something, and then ones that I wear for work, normally I'll just throw in some Next perfume. I think I bought a pack last time in the Next sale that were loads of little sample bottles of different ones. I was going to say different flavours. Different flavours, <laughs> I'm going to eat them. Um, different scents, and they're really handy to like, go I think I've got one here actually to show you in your little makeup bag that you take in your bag around with you you do that kind of thing and I've actually run out of this one this was one that was called fresh green yeah fresh green number three and it was just look up literally like completely empty and um, I do have a few more in there I'm gonna take that out of my little makeup bag because otherwise I'll stay in there forever so they're really handy to just take around with you but then this one is I'll open it later and um, this one is a decent sized bottle and yeah I haven't smelt it but I assume it will smell quite nice for four pound not too bad better than 14 pound anyway and then I also bought this which I actually thought was a perfume until I got it home and um, this was four pound again instead of ten pound and I did think it's a lipsy candle but I did think it was perfume oh, so I don't know I think it's smell it from here that smells yeah that's nice that's actually really really nice and it just said, says lipsy seduction on the front and I presume it's like the candle version of that perfume or something I don't know lipsy seduction it's really nice it smells delicious um looks okay I suppose I'm not really one for like candles that have I don't know, lipsy London logos on them and stuff I don't know, just like, you know, logos saying this is an expensive product, this is from Lipsy because Lipsy's cool, but 
it smells very very nice and I bought it accidentally so um, I'll keep that because I can't say no to a candle that's all I bought in the next sale as I say I'm not really over excited about anything which is really bad because I've just spent money on it but the, the, you know they're all cheap but obviously when you add them up they're not cheap but I don't know I think I like them I'm just not like I wasn't overly excited by all of the stuff like there was a few items that I wanted to buy from the home sale um, and then there was a rug that I saw and there was a mirror for the bathroom that I saw and I was literally like straight on there to get them and they'd gone so I was a bit disappointed in that I think thank you very much for watching please stick around and press that subscribe button um, I'll keep trying to upload once a week um, in my busy busy life thank you very much and I'll see you next time <laughs>